This is currently the state of the spare room. This is an IKEA Hemness day bed that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. Instead of 300 not pound Henry, I got it for 80, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. There's a slight little chip on it, I think on the frame, which I don't care. So, Sean is gonna assist or put this up tonight because, you know, he's great at this stuff and I'm not. So he's gonna put this up tonight so we can finally get this room in use after three years of having this room. We've never actually had it as a room, have we? So, as you might remember, last year on the vlog, Sean painted the walls these lovely, like, I think it's a lovely brown colour. Sean wasn't too keen. And then we got this flooring put in the other day, this gorgeous white carpet. We got it from Frank's in the cheap bit where you get, like, the offcuts. How much would we pay? 100 quid? About, well, with the underlay, it was, like, one... 60, 60 but for the size of this room we did not want to pay like 300 pound for a carpet it was like no nah. so it's a really nice white color i actually noticed yesterday you know i'm like your mum and dad's their um living room one's quite similar color uh -huh. it's the end of the year everywhere on tv couples and christmas trees gifts wrapping and cheese I have been editing since 9 this morning and it is just gone half 12. I've come away from the laptop, well it's not a laptop, it's a computer. I've come away from the computer because I need to do a, I need to do an hour of cleaning the house. It is really, really aggravating us. Um, we've just let it slip. It happens to the best of we, you know. <laughs> and we've definitely let ours slip. Like, I'm not even bothered, I'll show you. Like, I've got two bags of clean washing here, need to go away. That is just finished, so that is also clean washing. That is just finished, so that is clean washing that needs dried. All this shit needs moved. That is wet washing. That needs to go in the dryer. It's only been there about half an hour. It might stink, it might not, I'll check. The kitchen, plates, I think my mini dishwasher may be full. It is full, it needs sorted. I just have shit all over, look at this. <laughs> I need to sort this. The dog's room, oh, it's all right. Just a bit of neatening up needed here. The floors are absolutely minging. Like, I don't know if you can see. My floors are disgusting. Is that poo? It's not poo. It's a crispy leaf. And then in here is just absolutely rank. Like, this really aggravates me. Do you know when my cushions and throws are all over the place? This makes the living room look an absolute state to me. It's just everything needs wiped, everything needs cleaned, and then I don't even want to get started on upstairs. In fact, I'll take you up. I mean, I've showed you the worst of it. Well, not the worst of it, but in any way, the office needs sorted, PR stuff. I mean, to be fair, the office is probably the best kept room, but, you know, there's still stuff in here that needs sorted. My stairs are absolutely rancid. They need done. And we'll come upstairs and it's just another, oh, it sends us anxious. So we'll have these here, which need to go in the bin because we've got new carpet put in here. This bed is half up. We're missing some screws. So we need screws for this bed. I am gonna firmly close this door. We've got screws coming on Friday. It's currently Thursday, so tomorrow. The drawers from the new bed are staying here for now. And in here, this room's a mess. It's got a spare telly. It's got boxes and bags all over. The bed is disgusting. Like. <laughs> I hate my house being a mess and this is the worst I've let it get in a long time. We'll have a mattress here, which is for the new bed. These need to go. My bed needs changed because it's disgusting. I am over, like it's been a week and three days since I changed my bed. I do do it every week, usually. Didn't happen this week, so I need to change my bedding. And the... Dressing room could do with a little bit of a tidy up. So I'm setting a clock for an hour and I'm just going to do as much as I can in an hour, get back to work, come back to it. Actually, that's a little bullshit. Will I actually come back to it? I don't know. 
I know I need to do it though. I'm just procrastinating because I do not want to do it. I think it's because this is the problem when there's too much to do. I get overwhelmed and I prefer to do nothing, but then obviously that ain't gonna solve my problem of getting the house clean, is it? <laughs> Help. Honestly, days like this, I feel like I'm constantly doing something but taking nothing off my to-do list and it really frustrates us because I hate feeling like I'm doing nothing, but I know I am. Anyway, I need a Red Bull. You can judge us all you want, I don't care. I like Red Bulls and days like today when I need the extra energy, calls for a Red Bull. This is my go-to, the sugar-free one. Love this stuff. Right, I'm having that. So, what's next? I've just done an hour, I did an hour's clean, I came back, I did 40 minutes editing and I went back to do the rest of the cleaning in the living room. The house still not is still not at where I want it to be but we're getting there. I am absolutely starving, I've got the shakes, I always do this. You know when you have a busy day and you just rush around and you forget to eat? I've had one of them days and I'm really annoyed at myself because I've not been doing it recently, I've been really good so I need something quick, easy, convenient. That's why my air fryer comes in. Absolutely love air fryers. They literally change the game when it comes to food and cooking and everything like that. Like, oh, love them. Anyway, I need something quick. I've pulled some stuff out the freezer that I'm gonna have. This is gonna be a quick lunch. Recently upgraded my air fryer and I'm so excited to tell you about it because if you know, I've had one tiny little air fryer for a good few years. That is wrong, it was okay, but I wanted a bigger one. I always wanted one of these posh air fryers. And I've got one! I recently upgraded my air fryer to Kozori Air Fryer Dual Blaze. I'm absolutely loving it and I can't wait to show you some of the cool features it has. Anyway, this is what she looks like. She's stunning. One of the main features for me is the fact that it's dual blaze. So as you can see, it's got the heat on the bottom and the top. This is so good because it means the food doesn't need to be flipped, but both sides will still be crispy. And that's what I love about this air fryer. And it's one of the main features that makes this different from any other air air fryer on the market. Cost of living crisis as well. Air fryers are the best way to save energy in the kitchen. I rarely turn our oven on. They're so much more cost effective than ovens and everything like that and that's why I knew upgrading to a bigger air fryer was going to be an investment for me initially but it was going to be great because it was going to save us money in the long run when it comes to my energy costs. I know that that's something so many of were concerned about at the moment and I just think air fryers are the way forward when it comes to the kitchen. The upper and lower heaters that this air fryer in particular has is so good. Items cook even faster than your typical air fryer because you're getting two times the heat. As you can see by the size of the drawer, it's an extra large capacity. It's 6.4 litres. It's perfect for families around the Christmas get-togethers like she a chunky monkey. She big. She bigger than my head. She big. You could actually fit a whole chicken, like a roast chicken in there. Personally, I wouldn't because I don't eat chicken. Actually, I do have a vegan roast for Christmas and that will fit in there. And that is very exciting. So, woo! Anyway, what I particularly loved about this air fryer and was one of the main reasons this was the one of choice when I knew I wanted to upgrade is it isn't just an air fryer. It has 12 cooking functions. So as you can see, its cooking functions are air fry, reheat, roast, keep warm, bake, broil. Not really sure what broil means, but someone more educated in the kitchen can inform us. And then on this side, you have different things that you might be putting in it. Chicken, steak, seafood, veggies, fries, and frozen items. So, so much choice, more than your typical air fryer, or definitely more than the one I had anyway. So it's actually got a smart cooking feature, which you link to an app. This fascinated me so much, I love it. But anyway, this is the app. This is the app here, V-Sync. So I click on this app, I've already synced my air fryer. So basically I wanna start cooking and I'm gonna turn the temperature up to 200 and it's only gonna take about, it's actually probably only gonna take 10 minutes for what I'm cooking because I'm not cooking a big meal. Your girl is hungry, your girl needs quick food. So this is what I'm going for, my frozen vegan chicken fillet and two waffles. This would take, it says on the packet, 35 minutes in the oven. I'll have it done in 10 minutes in the air fryer, which, mwah. And then if I just go start cooking, she's away. 
as you can see, no matter where I am in the house, it tells us how long's left of the air fryer. So obviously I've just put it on, 10 minutes to 200C. Um, and it tells us what time it'll be ready at, total time remaining, and I get a little notification when it's ready. And let's just tell you, I'm absolutely buzzing about this feature. I feel very, very high tech. Also, guys, have you realised what day it is? If you're watching this video, the day it uploaded, it is Black Friday, which means we want the Black Friday deal. So the Black Friday sale is now on on the Kasori Air Fryer. So I'd highly recommend now is your time to invest if you've wanted to invest in an air fryer. It's the perfect opportunity. Link below, it'll have all the information that you will want to find out about the air fryer, along with your 23% off for the Black Friday deal. So that is amazing. Absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing that I'm able to tell you about this discount because we all love a discount, yeah. I'm starving. How long's left? Please tell me. Ugh, eight minutes. This has sure become the most exciting notification on my phone. Your food is ready. Right, got a wrap. As you can see, I'm a very creative girl in the kitchen. There's me chicken fillet. Look at how crispy it is. Like, it's actually all over crispy. I am so excited for this. And we're gonna have a little bit of ketchup. So the air fryer I had before this one would sometimes make my food a little too overdone um i mean i'd still eat it like but this is absolutely perfect so obviously this was in the freezer this is my vegan fish and oh, it's just delish guys it really is moistness in it as well it hasn't like dried out me chicken which me that one would do quite often um but i just love it i think it's the best thing since sliced bread anyway i will have the link in the description below if you want to find out more about the black friday offers about the air fryer in general click the link below but other than that i'm eating me tea so i'm just going to sort out my little handbag um i hate it when my handbag's a mess i've been using this one for quite a while now i got it from a charity shop i think it's the vintage mns st michael's or whatever anyway i absolutely love how like sturdy it is like you know how it's like concrete like not concrete but like it's got good structure to it that's what i really like about it and it just flaps over it's black it matches most of my outfits um but i like to have a case of mini things in my handbag in case i ever need it and i just need to reorganize that this is the little toilet bag that i keep inside of this at all times honestly i've got so particular about this toilet bag i want it to be like an essentials kit and have everything i need in it so i'll show you what i currently have in it um, I just have some of my medication that I might need. Um, so that's always in there. Then I have this. So this is actually a musk scented. It's a car spray, this one, not going to lie. But I do sometimes spritz it on my clothes when I'm in an emergency and I need it. It smells so good. I then always do have a little sample of perfume as well, just for like my neck and stuff. Um, this one is, as you can see, nearly gone. So I will replace it with another one when it's finished. A mini lint roller. These are so handy. I haven't actually needed to use this one yet. I get them off Timo, but I absolutely love them. They're so handy and I just keep them in my bag at all times. And this is my little lint roller. A little makeup set. This is perfect for topping up my makeup, blotting or anything like that. So in it, I get these little minis here, which are just so cute. And yeah, and then on this side, um it's just got like a thicker brush for blush and stuff and i absolutely love it so yeah i always have my little makeup set comb i have two variations of my comb so i have this comb here which i honestly my hair gets so tatty so i always need a brush i have this comb and this one which is just a little bit better um it has like an actual brush side and a comb side so i have both of these Lens wipes just for cleaning my glasses if I need them. I do usually have little pocket wipes in, but I haven't got any, so I need to pick some more up. This little mirror just so I can see myself, check I haven't gotten out of my teeth, top me, makeup up, whatever I need in there. Hand sanitizer. This one is Dew of Dawn. Um, it's a hydrating hand sanitizer. Absolutely love it. Pen. A pen's an essential. A lip balm, a lip gloss. This is the one I currently have. And then this little wipe, I actually nicked it from Lewis and Emily. I basically spilled something all down one of my clothes before we went out on the cruise one night. And Lewis gave us this little wipe and it is the best thing. Wipe and go um, stain remover wipe. So I always keep that in there because I absolutely love them. And then this 
it's quite chunky but it's got my essentials in it just sits in my bag like that and I've got plenty of room like my camera squeezes down there my phone lies on top so I've still got plenty of room for my keys and everything I need but it's just became an essential thing that I need in my handbag I'm so beyond excited about this so I've obviously did so many videos over the years featuring Primark you will know they're like probably my most popular videos when I used to do hauls was my Primark hauls I've had a parcel delivered today and it's got Primark's like thing on it there you can see it says Primark this wheel and it's from the Primark press office and I am going to shoot myself a little bit because this is beyond exciting to me I'm going to open it it's really heavy as well got a Christmas gift off Primark are you joking? Primarney? Primark? What the fuck? What is my life? How is this happening? I'm like really excited, but I just, oh, I don't want to open it. I feel like I need to like, I don't know what I feel like I need to do, but I just, oh. <gasps> what? I can't. 16, 17, 18, 19, 27 year old Demi is having a heart attack right now. God, it smells so good. Right, okay, they've sent me a box of goodies and I, I honestly can't believe it. Primark's one of them brands that I'm, I'm appreciative for every single PR parcel. Like, I cannot believe to this day brands send gifts over. That's absolutely nuts to me. Like, Primark's the brand that I've loved since I was a little girl. Like, I'd always save up my pocket money to go to Primark to get a new jumper or just to get something that made us feel special like I just have always loved Primark as you all know like you can tell on my videos that it's one of my favorite shops really like nervous I don't know why oh my god I just feel like what okay so they've sent me gifts wow wow oh my god okay so this is a hot chocolate mix marshmallows and sprinkles but look at the gingerbread man mug stop and then this look at that tag I'm well reusing that look at that that's bloody mint now. That. It's got a little to and from. I love that so much. I don't know if I'll be able to have the hot chocolate, obviously, because I think it'll probably not be vegan, the marshmallows, but that mug. That mug. It's too cute. Okay. Uh, bread. Scented ornament. Shut up. Try here. Scratch. It's an ornament. A gingerbread man. Any smells of gingerbread. Shut up the front door two pound in Primark oh my god I'm so excited I haven't got my Christmas decorations up yet but let us just tell you I'm so excited oh what's next okay oh stop it Christmas coasters look at these these are actually so pretty <laughs> Primark are like damn you're not in the festive spirit get in it love and I'm like okay I'm ready oh so cute they're like wooden I love them so much stop it <laughs> a lip oil Strawberry fragrance, that's like a candy cane. Two pound. <gasps> I'm actually gonna have to try this. Like imagine me on like, I was gonna say on the bus, but let's be real, I don't really get the bus that often. <gasps> Stop, this is, I've just literally showed you what's in my handbag. This is now getting it added. Imagine me, ooh, okay, okay, okay. But imagine me just like being in a coffee shop or something and whacking out my lip oil and it's a literal candy cane. Yeah, Joe. Oh my God. I love that. That is so cute. These are things I actually would have bought. Like, I would have 100% bought that. That is just me to a T. What's this? A candle. No. God, there's so much in here. Is that a candle? Four pound, this would be. And it's a tip. I was going to say tits. It's a this the season scented candle. Ooh, it smells... I don't know what it smells like. I would say berry scented candle. I think it smells berry. I love that. Thank you. Bauble. Is that a bauble? Bit of orange and green leaf reed diffuser. Oh my God. I actually need a reed diffuser as well. Oh, that's actually really fresh. I thought it was going to be like, like really citrusy, but it's actually really fresh. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I feel like I want to keep all of these until I put the Christmas decorations up so I can like get proper festive. What else is there? A little bath bomb. Stop it. Santa hat bath bomb, £1.30. Oh, this is too cute. Lollies. I think I can actually have that green lolly as well, you know. I need to double check. But oh my God. Okay, what else? Bath bomb. It's actual Santa, that one. £1.30. These are so perfect for little stocking fillers, aren't they? Like 
my mum would well have gone to Primark. She might still have gone to Primark to get me stuff like this for my stock and fillers. I love it. Okay. Hot chocolate bath bomb. Stop it. £3.50. This is Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. Well given this to Sean as part of his Christmas Eve box. Chocolate cocoa bomb. Three um, sea bottom panel. Th burns to seven hours. Three little candles. Caesar wooden vanilla. Wild fig and birch. Grandina and orange blossom. But look at that packaging. That is so stunning. I love that so much. Ah, God. Another little lolly and a Christmas stocking. Yeah, joking. Yeah, joking. Look at that. I love a red stocking. I'm so glad they sent a red one because it's just, oh, this would be £6 in Primark. It says joy. I am absolutely over the moon. Thank you so much to Primark if you happen to watch this. I am literally so excited. I'm literally going to keep this box forever and just be like, oh, that was the time Primark sent us a parcel. You know, Primark, Primark, Primark. The center is a parcel. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm keeping that. Let's like delegate if I'm going to keep the items or if I'm going to gift them. Definitely keeping the stocking. So yeah, I'm keeping the bath bombs because I've actually nearly ran out. So I'm keeping them. I'm keeping the coasters. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm definitely keeping the scented gingerbread man. Lip oil is going straight in my bag. No chances. Actually, it might even just put me purse in as well so it's a bit more it might even fit in me little essentials case wait it was made for it look at that buzzing i am buzzing right what else see that candle i need a new candle for christmas because i've actually not bought a christmas candle yet i can't get rid of the mug sean will probably have to have that but i can't get rid of the mug and this is getting reused on a parcel because it's so cute okay i don't think i'm giving anything away this is going in sean's christmas eve box so that is technically going to him. I'm keeping this. Oh, I'm keeping it all. I'm keeping these as well. Sorry, anybody. The family. If you wanted any of this, you're not getting it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It's one of them things that I don't think I'll ever take for granted. Like the fact that brands send us stuff. They look at my socials and think, you know what? Like I would love it if you mentioned this on your socials or like whatever. Like this year has been absolutely crazy and I think it's definitely been one of the years on my social media career where I've appreciated more than ever the job like for the for the like this year getting to go on virgin cruises two of them with virgin stop that that's a joke like what what and then also getting away with tesla this year as well skin and me batiste dry shampoo having a long-term contract with them having a long-term contract with Skin and Me, my favourite brands. HelloFresh, continuously working with them. What? I have just had so many amazing opportunities this year that I can't even comprehend that this is, like, my life. And, like, that? Like, Primark sent us a box of stuff? Like, what? I'm just absolutely, like, overwhelmed. I don't even know what I'll say. But I'm so beyond grateful, and I just want everyone to know who watches my videos and supports us that I never ever take this for granted and never take this job for granted at all um because i know that i wouldn't be in the position i'm in without the people who support my socials and it genuinely means the world um so i i, I just don't know what to say i need to go a little because i need to do a bit of shopping and i've been putting it off what time on now we're on 7 40 i've been putting it off because i really do want to go can't be asked but i need to go because we're literally at bare minimum in the house so I'm going to get me reusable bags and we're going to go. And if I go and get this done, I think that's everything off my to-do list for today, which I'm really happy about. There's one thing which technically I've done a percentage of it. The other percent I haven't done, which I, I still might do when I get back because it's only 7.40. Okay, I'm going to go a little. Stop procrastinating and go a little. On the way here, I've seen someone doing God's work. They literally had their little crystal, not crystal, what is it, ice icicle um christmas lights up and i was like nah you're doing god's work i looked like really hard to see if anybody else did and no one from the journey from like my house to little had it so i was like you know you are doing god's work it made us really happy like seeing some christmas lights on somebody's house i got very excited about it anyway i'm gonna go into little it's gonna be quite a big shop because i do want to pick up some little christmas gifts last time i was in here i seen loads of stuff that i was thinking for people to get so i'm gonna pick up some gifts while i'm in here as well as essentials for our food shop um 
but yeah it feels really windy i can feel it oh christmas trees oh real christmas trees are you joking little I wonder how much they are i've always wanted a real christmas tree right i'll take you in as well just in case you don't really go a little but want to see what's in store for the christmas season all that i'll bring you in I haven't had anything to eat since I made that food in the air fryer earlier and I just bought myself a little sandwich this is a falafel and cranberry wrap so I'm gonna have this because I do feel pretty hungry um falafel and cranberry would have been my go-to probs not but you know it's nice to actually have a vegan option um so I spent 60 odd pound on our actual food shop and then 80 pound on presents I did buy some presents for myself and some presents for Sean out of our joint account um basically i know what he likes he always asks me to get a few extras for myself so i do <laughs> um so I, I i got a few extras for us and i found if you're vegan and you like cinnamon I was in the shop and i literally shit myself with excitement nearly um mini buns with creamy filling cinnamon they're from sweden and i have checked and checked and checked the ingredients and i am sure i can have these soft sweet with cinnamon filling and this is the ingredients here i posted a photo on like the accidentally vegan group i'm in and i was like can someone confirm can i eat these and they were like oh my god yes i am running a little i love anything cinnamon like anything and i when i seen them i bought three packets i'm going to give one well i was going to give one to sean to give to me for christmas but i realized the date runs out before christmas that's a bit shit but don't worry i'll eat them I, I was gonna freeze them they don't say you can freeze them but i freeze everything i'm really bad at doing that like i don't check i'd just say oh i can freeze it and then unfreeze it that's my motto in life just freeze it and unfreeze it here's a cute whippet you are you're a cute whippet are you excited for sunny mommy is <laughs> i love her so much I've come in the house, just put all the shopping away, and I'm having a bowl of cherry tomatoes. I'm absolute. I, I love cherry tomatoes so much. But then I've also got some snacker jacks and a green tea. Sean took himself to bed early because he's had a really bad headache, so he's in bed. I'm just going to watch some YouTube and eat your cherry tomatoes.
Okay guys, so I've made this like a little coffee corner. It's still like things I want to do, but obviously we've got the kettle of tea, coffee, this little tray for our tea bags, our coffee machine, this little cute sign. This is now where we have the coffee. It used to be over in this corner, but this air fryer is much bigger than obviously my Jitsi one. I'm not sure what to do with this one, to be honest. Like we've never used it since I put that one there, which has been a good few days. I'm not really sure we'll use this one anymore. Um, I might save my mum once a mini one. Um, but yeah, because this is just, I love it. It's my baby. It's my little baby. Anyway, because it's bigger, I didn't want it there. I wanted it here. So anyway, it just looks better here. I need to sort my toaster out because I still haven't done that. Put my knives there. That's my little things. You know, where you been? Where you been? Where you been, handsome? Where you been, handsome boy? Where you been? You been for a wee hang you? <laughs> I've got two cute babies. Anyway, I am going to call it a wrap on this vlog because I'm just going to get it edited and yeah, get it uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye! It's the end of the year. Everywhere on TV. And Christmas trees, gift wrapping and cheer. Just the worst time to be.